for this next section where we'll learn about guide tracks, building harmonies, singing harmonies, and generating harmonies, both multi and single tracked harmonies. We're going to use a song by the Eagles. This is off their Long Road Out of Eden. It's a great album. Buy it. We're just going to use it a couple of snippets to use as an example to show how to build harmonies. No more walks in the woods. The trees have all been cut down. So I'm going to go ahead and sing those parts. Uh, please no laughing at the vocals. I'm a, a mediocre singer. Uh, certainly not a lead vocalist, but I'm going to use Melodyne to help hopefully improve my vocals and generate some harmony parts using this as a, as a sample. Here's my first uh, vocal recording, or my, in other words, my best shot at singing along with the Eagles, No More Walks in the Woods. Okay, so let's see what Melodyne says about it. You can see that uh, mostly singing flat. A few notes are sharp here and there. I just... Because we're going to use this as a guide track, I'm not going to spend a lot of time finessing this. I basically want to make it absolutely pitch perfect each time I do it as a guide for my ears to hear myself sing better. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all the, the blobs and just drag this over to 100% and even 100% on the pitch strip and go back and listen to it. No more walks in the woods. The trees have all been cut down. Okay, so here's a second take on the vocal guide track, um, singing along with just my voice. And I'm going to show it to you in Melodyne. And you can see that I have subtly increased my accuracy. Still not 100% accurate, but. Uh, closer than the first round and this is my experience uh, is each time you do this you get a little bit better at it you get a little bit more natural at it and it does improve the the vocal line each time you, you want to go ahead and do it especially for you singer songwriters who are writing a song and you really don't know exactly how it's supposed to go at first you can play around with different melodies and try things and then ultimately lock into that that vocal sound that you're looking for and for the sake of this video, we just won't have time to do it many, many times. But it, it just as you do this, you will notice that you get better each time you sing the song. So with that, we're going to take this track and go ahead and actually start building some harmony parts with it. And actually, this is actually a three-part harmony that's going on with the Eagles. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can detect those harmonies and sing them ourselves. Now, I just sang a note, which is kind of the tonic of what they were singing. It wasn't necessarily one of the parts. So... What we're going to do now is actually decompose what they're singing and try to find out the notes that they're singing in that harmony. This is useful for kind of working backwards if you wanted to, uh, you know, remix the song or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's, what I've done here is done a control M on the actual recording of the song, uh, No More Walks in the Wood. And here you'll see it. This is in polyphonic mode, so this is only available within uh, Melodyne Editor. So you can actually hear the different variations of the, the pitches. And what I'm going to do next is we're going to uh, try to identify some of these notes. So the first thing I want to show you is a mode to, to clean up this data as much as possible. Set it to the detection mode right here. And when you do that, you'll get what's called blinders. And blinders are areas that basically say don't don't even try it. Just throw all these notes out above this frequency. So I can bring it down. In the actual mix of the song, there, there's actually a keyboard synthesizer going, as well as the, the three guys singing the harmony. So I'm trying to pull out some of the notes and some of the harmonics that are being generated either above or below their vocals. And you can see those superfluous notes there. Well, that's a quick way to get rid of those. Another way to quickly get rid of notes is to use this threshold adjustment knob here and this will only be available on the Melodyne editor and you can see I can go in and by threshold uh, the volumes and stuff pull particular notes out of that of the patch thing there now if I want to add it I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on one of these if I wanted to add that note all I have to do is double click it and it'll bring it in to the harmony 
And the next thing I wanted to tell you was, in this mode, it actually uses a synthesizer, uh, a built-in synthesizer to allow you to kind of hear the notes as they would be interpreted by uh, MIDI data. It allows you to really go in and, and pull out the characteristic of the pitch and clean up before um, exporting it out to a MIDI or dragging it out as a MIDI part. This controls the volume of that, so I can uh, bring it up or down. And if you don't want to use the synthesizer, you can turn it off. No more the other thing I want to show you here is, is that a lot of times you'll get false note starts and stuff. Here's an example of where it's taken a continuous note that was sung by the singer, and it's got breaks in it. So you can, if you go along the top of it, you can go ahead and remove those breaks. and help create sustained notes. This is especially helpful when you are, uh, you know, exporting this thing to a MIDI note. You want it to be not so sporadic. You know, notice that they're singing, they're doing what's called scooping on their vo vocals. So they scoop up to that note. Uh, Synthesizer-wise, you may not want that to happen. You actually want to take out those notes before you drag it to MIDI and just, and just and bring in the note that they actually reach to. singer in the middle part is actually doing a, a, a large vibrato and it's detected as multiple notes. And you might want to uh, clean that up as well. Once you get this thing cleaned up, we'll go back to the main tool mode and it will actually go through another algorithm and recalculate the uh, notes. Okay, let's go ahead and take that uh, slightly cleaned up uh, polyphonic track and just go ahead and drag it into a the synthesizer part and listen to it. No more walks in the wood. So you can hear it. it's probably not the way a keyboard player would really play it. And uh, you probably need to go back and do a little bit more cleaning up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're back in the Melodyne editor here and we're in the detect mode. So we're listening to the synthesizer. You know there's only three people singing here, so this is probably a harmonic of the keyboard or part of the keyboard. I'm just gonna pull that out, try to you know line it up so that it is you hear three notes from somebody singing a part. Take that one out. Take that one out. Add that one in. And the guy in the middle here is doing a... Uh, 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 we can decide if we want to eliminate that or not once we get into the MIDI mode, but just based on that, let's see what protection we get now when we go back to dragging it. And I haven't done any I mean, quantizing or anything per se, and sometimes it's easiest to do that in the instrument take the snap off here since we haven't really lined this thing up with a tempo map there's the snap right there around just a bit i'm cheating on this a little bit it's not exactly the equal to the timing that they sang it in Make that one note, highlighting all those, to hitting a G to glue them together. And let's listen to that. No more walks in the wood. So now we can take those MIDI notes that we've identified and use them to actually create harmony parts and, and actually learn to sing those harmony parts. Looking at just the MIDI track, let's go ahead and identify just the low harmony part. No more walks in the woods. Okay, so here's a vocal recording along with those MIDI notes. No more walks in the woods. Now let's go ahead and add another one. No more walks in the woods. 
Okay, and here's what it sounds like with all three parts sung. No more walks in the wood. So now let's just work on the timing a little bit, adjusting the timing of each one of my tracks. By the way, if you, if you did some comping on the vocals, you'll see all the different comps show up in your Melodyne uh, file. You can actually look at them and see which one you actually sang you know, most in tune. Kind of a quick way to decide which is going to be the best comp. But anyway, let's uh, get, adjust some of the timings here. Okay, let's take this first part here. You notice, uh, here's a guide track here. I'm going to go ahead and hold down my... No more, no... Here's where the nose starts, right about there. And here, it is starting a little late. So if I click there, you'll see that it's basically lined up with that. Uh, right now, the current implementation of the, at least 2.02, .02, you've got to click here to get that one to move. Clicking here won't make that one move. So uh, mm -hmm. just live with that for right now. Click that there. And let's do that. Just, that means we're going to have to grab that note and stretch it. A little bit of trial and error to get the timing right. Get those a little bit tighter this is in terms of uh, vocal alignment. Hopefully this will improve a little bit with version 2 of Melodyne. So now... No more walk. No more. No more walks in the wood. Okay. We can see this... Uh, Third track here is also a little bit late, so we'll go ahead and move that one forward. Change to our tool here and bring that one up. No more. There it is, and we can see it needs to be lined up with that. So I'm going to drag it over. No more walks in the wood. Good for that. Let's uh, pick out the word more. No more. No more. Okay, here's just little old me singing uh, No More Walks in the Woods with the help of Melodyne. No more walks in the wood. No more walks in the wood. There you go. Now we're going to show you the, how to do that by just dragging a one instance or one event within Melodyne and, dra and actually creating the harmonies. Uh, by synthesizing each one of the voices rather than actually singing them. 